EXA version 133 introduces a new command center interface, a new drag and drop interaction, and the ability to make reusable item bundles. The command center uses a new menu design, something like a tablet that can resize itself to fit the menu's content. As you navigate into the menu hierarchy, a stack of buttons grows here on the left side. You can select these buttons to navigate one or more steps backward. Like every other item in the EXA layout, you can grab the command center and move it around. But it also has a special feature. You can summon it to your current position with the push of a button. And within the command center, you can use these new summon options to bring the loop recorder, metronome, and tool racks to you. The ability to summon items saves a lot of time and effort. Now you'll never need to move around the layout to find and fetch these interfaces. The command center replaces two previous menus. The old application menu's contents are now placed under settings, and the old layout menu's contents have been split up. Saving and loading is placed under layouts, and the creation of new items and groups is placed under create. There's also a new about menu, which shows the version number and several helpful tips. If you've used EXA before, most of these menu pages will look familiar. They're just contained within the new command center design. The create page, however, is quite different. Let's take a look. The right side of this page contains the button and options for creating a group. While this is in a new place in the menu, the process hasn't changed. Here's a quick review. Select several items in the layout, use the checkboxes to include or exclude certain item types, and then select create group. On the left side of this page, we get our first look at the new drag and drop interaction. Rather than using a button like before to create a new item that's automatically placed near the menu, this new interaction skips those steps. Instead, you simply grab the small item and drop it into the layout. As you pull the item further from the menu, it grows to its full size. At the same time, the indicator behind the item fills to 100% and glows green when the item's ready to be dropped. If you drop the item before it's ready, it just slides back into its place in the menu. The drag and drop interaction is convenient for creating new sections, sequencers, and documents, but the primary reason for building this interaction was to support the exciting new bundle feature. If you've ever designed an instrument in EXA, you've probably wished you could reuse it in a different layout. Now you can. A bundle is a collection of items that you can save as a unit and then reuse by placing copies of those items into your layout. Let's start with loading. EXA ships with a few pre-made bundles to get you started. Here's the curved piano from the default layout. Once you navigate to the bundle's details view, you'll see its title and photo, some information about its contents, and buttons that prepare or delete the bundle. Select the prepare button to make EXA build the bundle and display a miniature version. Once the bundle is built, which can take a moment for complex bundles, you can use the new drag and drop interaction to place it into the layout. Once you drop it, the bundle's container goes away and the items become a regular part of the layout. A quick tip about drag and drop is that it matters where you grab the miniature item. As the item grows to its full size, EXA uses your grab position as the item's center point. Bundles can be quite large, so grabbing the mini bundle at a certain position can often make it easier to place it into the layout. The steps for saving a bundle are very similar to saving an entire layout, except that you first have to select all the items that you want to include in the bundle. With your items selected, you can choose to enter a title, take a photo, and then use the Save Bundle button to finish the process. When saving a bundle, note that the bundle automatically includes dependencies from your selected items. For example, a selected group will include its contents, a selected loop will include its target ringers, and a selected sequencer will include its linked items. This ensures that all the bundle items will be functional when you reuse it.
This version of EXA also includes two new visual settings. The first enables a high quality display for your desktop monitor with brighter colors and smoother headset motion. The second setting allows you to toggle the tunnel vision effect that occurs while turning in smooth locomotion mode. There are many other fixes and improvements in this release, so check out EXA's Steam page to get all the details. The following song is included as a layout in your copy of EXA. You can load it up, watch it, change it, play along, and make it your own. You can find EXA The Infinite Instrument on Steam. Thanks for watching.